Hey there, Newton here. Welcome back to the Bite Size Tutorial Series for FPS. Last time, we added the character movements. Now, we will add the gun to give us that FPS feels. Open up our Godot project and let's get right to it. We'll create the bullet first. Add a new scene and make a rigid body node. Rename it to bullet. Add a mesh instance and select a new spear. Let's set the radius to 0.1 and the height to 0.2. We're just going to add the collision shape to remove the warning from the rigid body node. Add the shape, afterwards, we will just disable it. For detecting if the bullet collided, we will add the area node. Adding a collision shape, we'll create the new spear and set its radius to 0.11. A tad bit bigger than the mesh. Let's save the scene. Create a new folder inside the actor folder. Let's name it bullet then save. Add the new script and we'll set the template to no comments. First, add the speed of the bullet. On the ready function, we'll set it as top level. On the physics process function, we'll apply an impulse behind the rigid body to push the bullet forward. Adding the trigger when the bullet collides with an object, select the area node, then on the node tab, we'll connect the body entered signal to our bullet code. Then, when something enters the bullet's area, we will just destroy the bullet. That's all the things we need for the bullet for now. Let's head over to the gun part. Let's set the button for firing the gun. First things first, we're going to add the crosshair for our character. Select the camera node, then add a texture rec. For this, we're going to use the default Godot icon, but you can create or find one for yourself. Just make sure to set the layout anchor to the center of the screen. Next, we'll add the aim cast. Still inside the camera, we will add a ray cast. Enable it, then set the cast to 0, 0, and negative 1000. You'll notice that there will be a line shooting out of our character camera. Rename it to aim cast and the crosshair. Now for the gun model. Select cam holder, then create a mesh instance. Name it gun, then make a new cube mesh. Set its property to 0 0.2, 0 0.2, and 1. Then on the translation, set it to 0 0.35, negative 0.2, then negative 0.3. You can preview what it would look like by clicking the camera node and enable the preview. Adding the muzzle of the gun, let's use a position 3D. Name it muzzle, then move it at the tip of the gun. Then, let's add the script. First, we'll add the variables needed. Then, inside the input function, let's add the shoot script. Hey, we can now shoot things with our projectile gun. Although, our gun will not work when we shoot the sky. The workaround for this is adding a skybox. Add a static body, name it skybox, then add a cube collision shape. We're going to give its x and z axis a big amount. Then we'll create a box around the stage. Watch out FPS games, there's a new sheriff in town. On the next tutorial, we will add enemies that we can shoot. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification icon. 
Leave a like if you enjoyed the tutorials. Until then, take one step at a time and cheers!